Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2023, and we are here with Mo Abdelel. He is president and CEO of Densitas. Mo, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. Pleasure being here. Yeah, so can you tell us a little bit about Densitas and, and, and what you guys do? Yeah, we are a, an AI company uh, in the sense that we use AI to uh, address uh, core challenges facing mammography uh, and breast screening. Uh, in particular, um, unlike most other uh, AI companies. We don't do just transactional AI or pixel AI. We actually wrap all of uh, our AI results into a comprehensive platform uh, that addresses the day-to-day -day needs, operational needs uh, of the mammography enterprise as opposed to just uh, purely clinical transactional needs. So what you guys do is not something that analyzes mammograms and picks out cancer, what could be cancer. What, what sort of things that does Densitas do? In particular, we, uh, we assess breast density. Um, we assess uh, clinical image quality, particularly related to um, mammography positioning errors. Uh, but we wrap that into a very comprehensive uh, quality uh, uh, control and quality um, assurance uh, system. And, and the breast density issue is really important because, as we've learned with, with mammography, uh, standard X-ray mammography doesn't work as well with dense breast tissue. And also, breast density can be a risk factor for cancer, correct? Uh, absolutely. So there's, it's, there's, multiple, um, there's, there's multiple aspects to this, uh, to breast density. One of it is a, a compliance issue. Uh, the FDA uh, now mandates that uh, breast density must be reported to... Um, to women. Um, the facility must report it to women. Um, that is related directly to, as you say, the fact that it's related to breast cancer risk. Uh, so that's, that's quite important as well. Um, but also, it also has an impact on the ability of radiologists to diagnose cancers. So with very dense breasts, you'll find it more difficult, or the radiologists will find it more difficult to um, have uh, clinical confidence in their assessment of uh, cancer. Now here at RSNA 2023, uh, what are you guys highlighting? I understand you've got some, some new products. Yeah, we're quite excited about uh, our new uh, product, uh, Telemaven. Um, it is a uh, application that we've built uh, that leverages uh, uh, large language models um, and uh, our current application uh, um, leverages the ChatGPT uh, model um, and is a layer on top of our existing Intellimamo platform. So the reason that it works well with Intellimamo is because Intellimamo provides all that uh, pixel uh, AI in the sense that the breast density, the mammography positioning is all image-based, uh, but we accumulate that data in a very large database. So we have a now full population uh, data uh, on breast density and positioning, uh, positioning quality. So the health system, the, uh, the diagnostic imaging manager, the lead interpreting physician, the head uh, technologist, they all have access to a f the full gamut of data on quality and density. Um, so with that base from Intalamamo, we have now layered on this other generative AI application on top of all that data. And of course, that's where the, the generative AI solutions really shine, is when they're really uh, leveraging that, that complexity of data. So we have all this data from the images, and we are able to um, generate uh, meaning out of that data, which is generally pretty difficult to do because uh, what you typically find is the uh, the, the numeracy level, uh, it, 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 what it does is make it easier for uh, people of all, like um, clinicians of all, of, of all levels of statistical sophistication to be able to actually understand the underlying advanced analytics. So it's not enough just to generate an analytics solution with a whole bunch of numbers. 
um, and pro produce a dashboard. What you want to be able to do is produce a digested set of results. Um, and that's what IntelliMaven does. It brings that added level. So is IntelliMaven accessing a lot of the, this more technical data and then producing something that maybe is a little bit easier to digest? Absolutely. So we end up in a scenario where, for example, um, a lead interpreting physician or a lead or a head tech may want to uh, understand how one technologist performs versus another. And, uh, and Telemaven is able to dig into that data and respond to them. Uh, it all, it's also able to provide uh, greater confidence and, and access to data and therefore greater confidence and autonomy to the technologist because they have access to their own data of performance, their own performance data, and make decisions. And that give that autonomy to make those decisions without having to go to the radiologist is very powerful because the radiologists then don't are not interrupted as often for those types of questions that the uh, telemaven can intercept and address before they it gets to the radiologist. Great. Any other milestones for Densitas in 2023? Yeah, we're actually going to be expanding Intelum even further, and we're, we'll be excited uh, to announce those um, developments as they come. All right, very good. Yeah. We'll, we'll look forward to seeing that. Thank you. All right, Mo Abdelal, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. Signing off from RSNA 2023, my name is Brian Casey.